Hey, this is Dr. Fats here, and in this video I will show you how to replace the crankshaft position sensor on this Nissan Quest. It has a 3.5 liter V6 engine, and this sensor is underneath the vehicle. And in my last video I showed you how to replace the camshaft position sensors. There were two of them that is accessible from the top, one near the firewall and one near the radiator. I'll put a link at the end of the video so you can click on it and see that install. Now, to do this job, because the sensor is underneath, I've jacked up the car. I've placed the car on jack stands. Also, I put wheel chocks at the back, put the emergency brake on. And the other side, same thing, I have a jack stand on the other side. So now that this is secured, I'm going to go ahead and get underneath and show you where the crankshaft position sensor is. Before I get underneath the car, let me show you the part that I'll be using. This is a Nissan factory part, part number 23731-AL60C. And this is the crankshaft position sensor. This is what the part looks like. Actually, it looks very similar to the uh, camshaft position sensor, but it's labeled differently. And uh, when I bought the part from a dealership, uh, they did point out that there were two parts available. One was for the uh, five-speed automatic. Mine is actually a four-speed automatic that came out in 04. So just want to make sure that you guys uh, do pick up the correct part. So first thing you need to do is remove the battery terminal. So let me show you where the sensor is. This is the passenger side front wheel. So we'll get underneath. So here's the oil pan. So the front of the engine is this way, okay? and the tires right over here. So the driver's side is this way. Now if you follow along right here you see a green connector and then above the green connector there's a bolt there. That 10 millimeter holds the crankshaft sensor that's above it. So on that crankshaft position sensor on the left side you see there, there's a little push tab. You need to push that tab in and lift the connector off. I've already released it so now I just gotta pull that connector off and then remove that 10 millimeter bolt. Just move the bracket aside. Then you can access the camshaft position sensor. So here it is. Now we'll go ahead and put the new sensor in. The space is so tight, I apologize that I can't give you a good shot on this, but basically the installation is reverse of the removal. And now we'll put the connector back on. Here, click. It's fully seated. It's locked in. And that's it. So now we can reconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Now start up the car. Make sure everything is running without any check engine light.
So that's it. That's how you change the crankshaft position sensor on this Nissan Quest. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you.